Hey, what's up guys? Uh, it's Arctis here, back with another video. And today we're going to be doing the second part of this operator tier list. And we've got the attackers here. So if you guys have uh, missed out, I uploaded a Defenders one. You can go check that one out. Um, I'll leave the link in the description down below. So yeah, here we go with the attackers. So yeah, first we've got Ace. This is a clear ST operator. The introduction of Ace, a third, no, a fourth hard breacher has changed the game. He's just the hybrid of Hibala and Thermite and he's good. He's got the AK-12 as well and he has smokes if I'm not uh, mistaken. So yeah, pretty good operator. Amaru B, B tier operator. She's good. She's situational, but when she's uh, used properly, she can be pretty good. I think they need to experiment with her, like being able to like go through hatches quicker because she's good and she has the G8 A1 and the stun grenades, so she's a pretty good character. And next we have Ash. I'm actually gonna put an A. She's not as good as she used to be. Her recoil's kind of fucked her up, and you can still use her. You just can't use her long range because her gun's got a bit of kick to it now. But still good operator. Off we'll see. G3, good operators. She she doesn't have stuns anymore, but she's still a decent operator to play, and she's good for fragging uh, entry. Next we have Blackbeard, who I'm going to put as a C operator for now. He's still good. He's pretty broken, so he is the uh, rifle shield, and his guns are good. He's just good for like holding positions, so for console double windows, or bathroom windows, or just holding an angle. And he's still a solid operator. He's not bad. C doesn't mean bad operators. It just means very situational, and that's what he is. Blitz, okay, this is probably a D tier operator. He's not very good, he's rarely situational. That is C situational, but this is just rarely ever situational. And he's just not very good. Uh, his flash shield's inconsistent, and it's just, it's easy to counter him. Especially at the trap meta. Uh, Buck, C tier operator, I mean, soft destruction, he's used quite well. And he's a really good operator, he's got a nice gun. He used to have a lot of recoil, he doesn't have as much recoil, 1.5 times, and yeah. Really good for vertical gameplay, and the CB SFW is an amazing gun. So yeah, good for Capital. Capital, I'm gonna put in a B. He's really good. Actually, let's put him in A. He's really good for like um, smoking off a bomb site or sort of uh, denial, so he can sort of fire the place and then just shoot it. So yeah, I think he's a really good uh, operator. He's got two good guns. He's just good. He's a solid flex operator. Next, we've got Docker B. I wanna put a uh, B. Situational, but she's good for hunting down roamers and she's got a good pair of guns. The MK14 and the SMG12 are still good guns, and she has smokes. Another good flex operator. I think I'm actually going to put in B as well. She's got a buff recently. Her her gadget needs a bit of a rework, but it's still a good gadget, and she has a really good gun. Uh, it's Thunderbird's gun, or it's her gun on Thunderbird's. Next, we have Flores. I'm actually going to put in um, A. I like the introduction of Flores. It's good for. Um, Clearing people out of objectives. He has Thatcher's the AR-33, which is a good gun. And yeah, he's a pretty good operator. He has uh, four drones as well, which is good. Fuse is a B-tier operator, top of B-tier. He could be an A. I mean, he's pretty good now. He is the AK-12, one of the best guns in the game. The best DPS in the game. He has four fuse tar charges, and they can go through reinforced tools. So I think he's a pretty solid operator pick now. Maybe in a couple months, uh, he'll go to A. Glass D-tier, pretty trash. Les isn't very good anymore, and yeah, enough said, his life is just too inconsistent. In a game with a one-shot kill um, headshot, I don't think Glass is a sniper has potential to be that like, great, but yeah. Next we have Gridlock, BT Operator. I, I really like Gridlock. She's got a good pair of guns. Uh, her gadget's good for denying flanks, and I think she's a pretty solid Operator who's uh, not situational, but she's never bad to have. Hibana, ST Operator, Hard Breach, and yeah, good guns with the um i forgot what a gun's called but it's good it's a good gun and she has the bearing nine stuns and she can open up like three hatches or two walls or something like that yana st operator she is good load up she's a good gun the g36c the gon6 and she has nades there's nothing else to say she's a really good fragger in my opinion she's a good entry player entry uh, potential all right next to iq she's probably a b now she's not that good anymore she's not as good as she used to be She's quite situational now, because uh, people can use other things, just the new ping system, and yeah. She's got a good gun though, and she's still situational. Jackal is a sort of S tier, he's got a good for hunting down roamers, and his guns are still good, even though they tried to nerf the ammo count, and uh, they tried to nerf the ammo count, and buff the recoil hasn't been very that successful. Kali is A tier operator in my opinion, she's really good for opening up balls, even though I said that snipers weren't that useful. She has the C the CZ and the other gun, uh, Caddy, I mean, Clash's SM, uh, secondary is a like sidearm, and the sniper isn't that bad as well, and she's good for opening up balls, so A tier operator in my opinion. Lion, C tier, Sather, C or B tier. His gun's still good, the vector's always been good, and his um, gadget is not what it used to be, but it's still a very good gadget in my opinion. 
Maverick S tier operator, he's really good at opening walls and uh, countering bandit drinking as seen by the you can use him on basically every bomb site. To attack like a double hard breach wall, so example clubhouse, CCTV or clubhouse bedroom or even garage on console, he's basically used anywhere. Monty, I'm gonna put in C. Situational, but good Monty players are annoying to play against. I hate playing against good Monty players. All right, next we have Nook. Situational again. I think Nook's uh, he's really underrated, but he's still not as good as he can be. I think he's tried. They tried to make him as a Kavera sort of uh, operator, but it hasn't really worked out and hasn't been that effective. So I'd say no. I wouldn't like. Uh, I wouldn't put Nook higher than in my opinion. Nomad S tier operator. Good flank watch. Good use of utility with stun grenades and. Yeah, it has a good gun as well. So the ARX is a pretty good gun. So yeah, and the AR and the other AK is a good gun. Nomad is a very strong in my opinion in this current meta. I also beat A tier, uh, I'd say A. We'll put A tier for now. A tier operates in my opinion. Good guns, good ability with shields. You can block off flanks with it as well. And it's see-through as well. So yeah, and she has the PDW and Thermite's gun. So she's a pretty solid operator in my opinion. I think we'll see her in Pro League when that comes out. Sledge S tier operator, same with Buck, but Buck um, Sledge is nades now, so he can open up vertical from above and then just nade it out and then just sort of hold off angles from above. So yeah, pretty good operator, definitely an S tier. Thatcher S tier, there's a reason he's banned in every single game, it's because, you know, it's Thatcher. I don't think I've played around game with him this season where he's been not been banned, it's just an auto ban if you don't know, if you don't know who to ban attack, just ban Thatcher. So yeah, he, he's got EMPs, he can basically just, he counters like half these defenders over here. For a second, so yeah, Thatcher SD operator, and yeah, he has the L8586, and that's a good gun. Thermite, a top of A tier. I feel like he could be an S, he's in the border between. He's most likely to be an S tier if one of these, like someone else, drops out of here. He's, uh, the, you know, the typical archetypal Thermite hard breacher with the 556 stuns, and yeah, he's just good for opening big walls. Twitch is B tier, top of B tier, very good gun. Her Twitch drones can jump now, and she does have, she does have two of them and a normal drones. So I think she's been getting better, so we'll back, we might see the days where she's back in S or A tier. Ying, C tier operator. Good for clearing out utility, because she has two spikes and three candelas, but she's still not that good. Her LMGs are okay, I guess. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Zero, I'd say, is uh, top of B tier. Very flexible. He's got a lot of utility. Good for a flex or support sort of character. His SC3000 is a good gun, and the MP5 is never bad, so he's a pretty good operator, and I just wish he had nades. If he had nades, he'd be A or S tier operator, in my opinion. Lastly, we have Zofia. S or A tier. I think the recent nerf from my dragger to A tier, but her LMG is still OP. It's still so good. And of course, her stuns. She brings a lot of utility, and she's a good fragger. So yeah, in my opinion, this is what we need to be. I think maybe we could drag Monty down a bit. And we have a couple of these, like Doc B to C. But apart from that, I think this is a pretty good list, in my opinion. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this list. Do you think this is a good um, sort of operator tier list for attackers? What would you guys change? Make sure to leave a like and comment on what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Octus.